Hey guys, alright, so I'm making this video today because a lot of people have been asking the question, how do I underclock my AMD A6 3420M? Um, so I was searching the web and I actually found out it was a pretty popular topic, but not really, you know, it was a little fuzzy for everybody. And I've always had my computer underclocked as you can see 400 megahertz but also overclocked to 2.9 gigahertz so um, again I just wanted to make this video today to show you guys really the true the true performance and reliability I'm sorry of the AMD A6 3420M now first I've got P0 set at 2.9 gigahertz at 1.2875 volts um, it really really gives me the maximum performance I mean it really does and the reason the computer's not running minimum power right now is because I'm screen recording um, let's see if I can put it in power save and it yeah see there you go um, so it's really it's really impressive what this thing will do Alright, I'll just throw it in high performance for now. Um, so yeah, my P0 2.9, I've got my P1 at 2.3 at 1.0875 volts. Um, this is where it usually runs when I play games. It never really goes up to 2.9 because if you see my max temperature, I played a couple games today. Um, it, it really, it doesn't want to get past that point, I guess because it doesn't want to overheat the computer um, so this is really the speed you usually run at and it's a pretty it's a pretty good speed um, if you put the computer in high performance when you're doing absolutely nothing it'll run at 2.9 and the the temperature will be 120 maybe um, but let's go down to P2 that's 2.0 at 1.0500 volts P3 1.6 at 0.9875 P4 at 1.4 at 0.9625 P5 at 1.2 at 0.9500 P6 at 800 meg at 0.9375 and finally P7 at 400 megahertz at 0.785 or sorry 0.7875 um, now as you can see that little the bar on the other side uh, right over here um, I only have 666 meg RAM um, I'll pull up I will pull up CPU Z and show you um, that yeah I've, I've got pretty slow RAM actually um, yeah 665 um, slot 1 it's got 2 gig and slot 2 it's got a 4 gig of a little bit faster 800 megahertz but I mean this is really DDR2 speeds it's really it's not doing the best um, the reason it's got such slow RAM in is it, or sl such slow RAM in it, is because I just, you know, I had that piece laying around. It came with four, so I put six in it. Um, I really don't mind too much. The performance really doesn't vary in my eyes. I will go ahead and go out and buy uh, two four gig pieces of AMD's Entertainment Series memory. It's 1600 megahertz, so that's that's a pretty big improvement and I'm really hoping my um, my scores for sorry um, my scores for Windows experience will go up because I only get a 5.5 in desktop graphics performance and the memory is really holding it back I think see the memory it gets a 7.3 and it's also holding back the processor from what it can really do because if you look at this picture right here this is the results I got off from this machine at 2.9 yeah 3655 I mean I was blown off my feet when I saw this I could not believe it that it got this good most of the dual core i7's they get about 
what the Intel Core 2 Duo at 3 gig gets. Um, the AMD Phenon 4, it does do better, but it's also a 95 watt processor versus this one, which is a 40. So, I mean, you got to take that into consideration. But other than that, this computer right here, overclocked and underclocked, I think it's a very good combination since a lot of people are asking about underclocked. And all you got to do after this is you hit service, you hit apply, you X that out, or sorry, you hit service, update, and then apply, and then you can exit out. And it also, it um, you can enable it to do this as it starts up. Um, I think it actually already does it for you. Um, so yeah, whenever you turn the computer on, it's overclocking it. Um, so you get a faster boot speed. Um, I'm also going to get a solid state and when I get my new RAM, my new solid state, I'm only getting a SATA 2 because it only supports SATA 2. Um, it'll be about $100 to throw a 64 gig solid state in here plus the RAM, so that's not bad at all. Um, I really, really expect to see a very big improvement in uh, performance on everything. Um, so yeah, I'll put a new video out in a couple weeks when I get that done. and. Um, Thanks for watching, guys.